see trees of green, red roses too. I see them blue for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Oh, but it's going to be horrible. It's going to be a horror story that we absolutely cannot conceive of. Millions of people will die on that day and every day thereafter. And uh, it's it's uh, uh, this this kind of conversation of what we're, what what will we do uh, the next day? Uh, that doesn't make it's nonsense. It's utter nonsense because it is going to happen. This is what the Bible teaches. We don't, we, we don't, this is not, not something where, yeah, yeah, there's a tiny, 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 tiny chance it might happen. It is going to happen. It is six o'clock. And this is my neighborhood. Not one freaking tremor. Look, the cat's fine. Oh no! Oh no! It started! No, really, it hasn't. <laughs> now, there are a few people out there who think that maybe ridiculing and scorning the people who bought into Harold Camping's ridiculous prophecy is probably counterproductive because those people will probably find a reason to make an excuse for why things didn't happen the way they thought it would. And they'll still find a reason to believe the next uh, end world prophecy, end of time prophe prophecy that either Harold Camping comes up with or some new schmuck. And, you know, it is kind of sad that people got, you know, jerked out of their money Honestly, I'd laugh if it wasn't so pathetic. Oh, what the hell? I'll laugh anyway. <laughs> it had to be about the dumbest thing I have ever heard. And it continues to be stupid because how many times have so has someone made that claim? Come on now. How many times has that claim been remotely correct? Never. Not once. And I might add that... Me scorning and ridiculing the stupid people that gave that man their money, the stupid people that quit their jobs, the stupid people that bought into that bullshit, is not so much about them. It's about the next go-round. And maybe, hopefully, somebody will see a video, either one that I did or one that numerous other YouTubers have done, ridiculing that bullshit. And they'll think twice before they buy into it. I mean... At least that's the hope that I have. But there are there are a few YouTubers that are standouts. They are standouts because they use their channel to promote that bullshit. So, as a result of that, they all win the douchebag award. Let's start with Tear Jerker 2011. You are a douchebag for wasting time, energy, probably money as well, promoting this bullshit. Amazing facts. Bullshit, you win the douchebag award. Mr. May 21, 2011, you win the douchebag award. My Bible reads, you win the douchebag award. <laughs> now, I certainly hope that none of you, none of you sold any of your stuff or quit your jobs or anything foolish like that. But the very fact that you would promote that bullshit so that the rest of the lemmings who might be easily persuaded, you know, the gullible type that would believe in that shit, you're promoting it on your channel and, and actually reinforcing that nonsense in their head, fuck you. Douchebag award. Oh, and Harold, fuck you too, man. And a lot of you Christians out there, 
that didn't buy into it, don't laugh too loud and don't laugh too long because the truth is you believe in a rapture too. Now, you didn't put a date to your quackery, but it, it's still insane nonetheless. So don't laugh too loud because you're just like Harold and you're just like the people that bought into that shit because you believe that that shit's going to happen too. And by the way, the last thing I would like to say on this topic is I see a lot of you running around here with that 2012 bullshit too. Don't think I've forgotten you. As a matter of fact, you need to understand this right now. Because now that this hurl camping shit is over, guess what? 